Hey, good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Just got my coffee here. Ah, so let's do a little story time here. So we had a client. Um, they signed a contract. It was a 45-day contract. I don't know why they needed 45 days. But anyway, 45 days. And then within, I think, day 41, they got turned down by the lender that they got pre-approved for. So that's why it's so important. You know, it matters who you work with. Uh, make sure the work's done on the front end. So fast forward 41 days into the contract, all of a sudden they can't do it. They can't get in touch with the mortgage person. It was a complete disaster. Okay. Now, having said that, credit scores were rough. Okay. So they were, you know, somewhat rough. So what we had to do is bump up the score just a little bit, but it was still below 620. Okay. They were trying to go conventional for some reason, you know, conventional goes on 620. I don't know why they were even messing with that. All we had to do was switch that to FHA. Now, a little bit of a background on this file. They were putting a lot of money down. They're putting out 50%, 50%, so like $200,000. So when people hear that who are not in the mortgage, you know, sphere, they, they basically say, well, they're putting a lot of money down. They should qualify. They should do this. The, there's so many moving parts that have to fit. Okay. And then you have to get uh, you know, approval through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Sometimes they have to do a manual approval. This wasn't even a manual approval. All we had to do was switch this thing to an FHA. And just like that, we got the approval and now we could do the loan and, and everything else. So, um, you know, it, it really matters, you know, who you work with because a pre-approval doesn't mean the same across all lenders. Okay. Pre-approval could be, Hey, I'm just taking some basic information. Yeah, it looks good. I'm just sending it out. Well, if you don't know all the information, and these people were self-employed, so basically have to go through everything. You have to go through the documents, you know, tax returns the last two years. If you have 1099s, do that. Everything else, make sure everything is there. But most lenders don't do that on the front end, and what happens is it blows up, and we call those SOS deals. When we get an SOS deal, we go into action. We have all hands on deck. Uh, we put that on the top of the pile. We turn it around and get it to close, and we got this thing to close, I think, in about 11 days. Um, because the appraisal and, and so forth, and, you know, waiting on that a little bit, but, you know, get it done in like in 11 days is, is still pretty amazing. So the moral of the story is if you get a pre-approval, make sure it's done the right way. Make sure they vet all the income and stuff. And I know you as a client, if you're listening to this, you're a little bit nervous. Well, you know, I don't want to show them all this or show them that you got to show them because it's going to come out no matter what. Now, if you show them all that and they don't do their work, meaning the lender, that's on them, okay? So very important who you work with. Make sure you do everything on the front end. Make sure you get everything done the right way. Make sure it's almost like a mortgage commitment. I mean, we actually, you know, right now, uh, because, you know, contracts are taking a while to get in because it's such a low inventory, you know, I mean, but before that, our team's been doing this, been sending down to underwriting before contracts. So when you put an offer in with us, it's like a mortgage commitment, not exactly because we're still waiting on the appraisal, title, you know, all that stuff, uh, contract, obviously, but we get all the financial conditions cleared out uh, before a lot of times you can make that offer. So make sure, um, you know, uh, offer a lot stronger, obviously. So hopefully that helps. Get any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message. Uh, and we are here to help at the Peckman team. Have a great morning. Have a great Thursday. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.